Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And KJ says you're the hardest one for him to guard in practice. What do you do to him that makes him, makes him pick you out of that whole group? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> I just feel like I just try to keep the defense honest this year. Um, just try to make the right plays. Uh, I feel like he think I'm going to make the right plays. Marcus, a year ago, you were just getting ready for your freshman year. You got a year experience. Where are you ahead of where you were last year um, in terms of, you know, on the court, kind of where you wanted to be? Um, about this time last year, I didn't know what to expect from going on the court. Um, I feel like I almost seen it all going to the Final Four. Playing all the tough teams that we faced last year, I feel like when I go out there, I know what to expect. I think Devon said after the game that Coach really stressed turnovers in the locker room. Uh, is that something he's – you made mention of after the game for you guys. Oh yeah, of course. Um, playing a team like that, we had a lot of turnovers. Um, we were very careless with the ball. I just feel like we got to take care of the ball more. I'm, I'm sure you've seen some film. Are there certain things that happened or certain ways you guys can improve from that, I guess? Oh yeah, of course. Um, they really they really got us with the trap in the post. I mean, we, uh, we really weren't re- ready for it. Things like that, but I feel like we really did. You've worked on it this week? Yeah. yeah. Marcus, can you talk about the next little things that you do to make you a good defender? And maybe even what more can you do to be a great defender? Um, I think what will make me a great defender is being able to guard uh, very smaller guards. Uh, I feel like I feel like I can guard them, but sometimes they can be so low with dribbling the ball that it's hard for me to stay in front of them. Uh, I feel like it's better for me to guard like someone my height and just moving my feet and helping everyone. Just knowing that um, if you want to help or when you're helping a team, it just makes it harder for the offense to score. You, you, one of your first experiences last year was the Champions <coughs> Classic and Kentucky on the big stage, all that. Uh, have you started telling these young guys that they'll be going through that the first time next week, uh, what that's about, how to prepare, what to expect, things like that? Oh, uh, yeah, I just be trying to tell them just to mark out the crowd, just try not to listen to what people are saying, especially now that we're preseason number one. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people just hyping them up, but I'm just trying to just keep them level headed. Were you able to do that last year? It's easy to tell them that now, right? But when you were out there as a freshman, United Center, w- w- was it easy to do that? Or? No, it definitely wasn't <laughs> easy. It just your adrenaline and running. And things just happened fast. You look like you're more comfortable scoring off the dribble. Can you just talk about that and uh, what you've done to improve on that? Um, I just feel like my life, I just always play with the ball in my hand. Um, and last year we had such good scores and things like that. Now I didn't need to play with the ball, I just had to play off the ball and do little things. So it, it's always been comfortable for me just to play with the ball and score like that. So you got a little more confidence, a little more yeah. swag? Yeah. Marcus, what are some of the things maybe you hope to, to see from this team tomorrow night that you didn't see last week? Um, like he said, just not turning over the ball, defending, try to keep it uh, to a low scoring game. What did Coach say about the threes last game? The threes? Uh, I don't think we shot it great, but I think we shot like 40% still. So, I mean, it wasn't too much he said, but he was just like, other teams in the past shot it way better than this this game. How different does the game seem now with a bunch of big guys on the floor as opposed to your freshman year where there was a bunch of little guys that seemed like on the floor? Uh, I mean, it's way easier. Uh, They uh, carry up more space on the court. I feel like it's easier for the rebound, uh, I said rebound, for the guards to rebound when they're the bigs on the court. For guys like me, when they're boxing out, they just run in and grab rebounds. Do you, do you consider uh, KJ a, a guard or a big? A big? A guard. Uh, I feel like he's very versatile, though, with him just being able to play in the middle of the zone, him being able to shoot and handle the ball and guard for. Yeah. How have you seen Yudoka respond the last week in practice? Uh, respond to the to the game you know, here's Oh, he's responding great. I mean, he still feels good. He just loves him those exhibition games. It, it can be like that sometimes, but we just glad it happened early. How about Diedrich? Um, your thoughts? He got the double double very early in the game. Is that I'm guessing that didn't surprise you? And, and what else do you see from him in practice? Um, I see a lot of improvement in practice. Um, I feel like he didn't really get to show what he could do in the exhibition game. It was just more just like. Just lay up right under the goal. I, I feel like he didn't show like his skill set yet. So I feel like people still got a lot to look out for. So what, what, what is that extra skill set? Um, his passing ability, him being able to bring the ball up the floor and dribble and make plays for us. All right.